Hello everyone and welcome back to 4FS Gaming. So I've been seeing a lot of comments across different media channels from people who just feel like they can't win gunfights. They watch and read guides, they're experienced in the game, they maybe even have a few hundred hours, but despite this they just get headshots straight up or hardly ever seem to be able to pull off any wins. So if you are someone that knows all of the basics of hunt, you know when to be quiet, you know when to go loud, you know not to crouch walk unless you have to, but you still just can't win a damn fight, well then this video is for you. And I'm going to keep it quick, condensed, and cover the key advice that I would like to give people in this position. When I hear people talking about this kind of experience, and I go through it as well, and I've seen teammates go through it that I play with, where you just have bad weeks and you can't catch a break, it usually comes down to one of three things that are missing from your hunt success formula. And those three things are aim, defensive movement, and positioning. And I'll touch on each one of these. So let's start with aim because it's quick and obvious. You need to be able to hit shots, and if you can't hit any shots, then it becomes very difficult to win. Yeah, there are ways around this by using RNG weapons, by using more shotguns and grenades to get kills. But generally speaking, that will limit you to very specific playstyles. You need to be able to aim with a rifle and land a hit. The good news is that aim is rather easy to improve as long as you make a conscious effort to do so. I've made a whole video on this, but I'll outline some key pointers here. To improve aim, you need to practice, and learning to do this better is simple, but it still takes time. Go into training, or better yet, quick play. Quick play is amazing for practice, it is a severely underrated game mode, and shoot everything you see while moving as fast as you can. Don't line up your targets, just aim down sights and shoot as fast as you can at everything, repeat and repeat, and I promise that you will see improvements. Now while you do this, there are two things that you should be experimenting with. The first is crosshair placement. Consciously center your screen at the likely level of your target when you round corners, so that acquiring that target when you aim down sights becomes even faster. You need to constantly remind yourself to do this until it becomes second nature. This will help you develop a really good sense of where your aim center point is, even when your weapon is not even ready. It's just down and you're sprinting around, so that when you look at a target and then aim in, you'll instantly be shooting where you want to shoot. The second point is to mess around with your sensitivities in your settings. Chances are that you're playing with too high a sensitivity, but it could be too low. So first try dropping it down a bit and change it up until you find settings that work the best for you and that you find that you have the best performance with. It takes time, but you really have to experiment with this and it is worth it. I can't tell you the best sensitivity and DPI combination. This will depend on your physical setup. It'll depend on your mouse. It'll depend on your mouse space, your desk space and you as a player, so you need to figure out what works best for you. And that's it for aim. I like quick play for this practice because hunters move very differently to AI, and you really need to practice the aiming against them rather than just grunts. And that brings us to the second thing that you might be missing, which is defensive movement. Now this is what I probably struggle with the most myself, and so in this footage you're going to notice that I'm not doing everything that I'm telling you to do, but I'm trying to make it second nature, it takes time. The basic principle is this, just like in a boxing match, you never want your head to be in the same place before and after an attack. You want to duck, slip and weave to ensure that the bulk of those instant headshots miss you. When aiming down sights, your movement is slow. So strafing side to side is not sufficient to prevent most headshots at medium range. You need to do more than just strafe, although this is a really good starting point. Moving after a shot is particularly crucial with slower firing weapons, where you should be highly evasive while rebolting or reloading your weapon. Of course, having cover is great, but if you just strafe behind cover, then you're likely still going to get headshot by some long ammo, because you need to move your head more dynamically, because if you're not, they'll predict where you are and shoot through the cover, and then you're dead. Hunt provides three options when it comes to additional head movement. Jumping, crouching, and then spinning around by looking in different places. And by doing any of these, the position of your head changes more erratically than just strafe movement, especially when aiming down sights. Now some of you are probably moaning internally because you don't like the cheese fest of jumping crouch spamming hunters that ruin immersion. Well the good news is that doing this excessively is to your detriment 
as repeated crouch and jump activation slows you down significantly. You just need to throw in a quick head movement to mess up your enemy's aim while you get ready for that follow up shot or pull safely into better cover. If it looks crazily immersion breaking, then you might be going a little bit too hard on the crouch and jump spamming and this will slow you down anyway. Most people are pretty good at doing this after they get shot, but still get headshot too often because they spend too much time aiming up a target prior to shooting. You want to peek, aim down sights and shoot all in the same motion. Every half second that you spend aiming down sights trying to line someone up, you are leaving yourself extremely vulnerable. Moral of the story, in a hectic gunfight, you do not want to be hard scoping or holding ADS. I suppose the term for what you want to do would be akin to quick scoping, shooting as soon as you aim down sights. Now of course this does, like anything, have several exceptions. Times when staying in sights can work in your favour. The most obvious time is when you're undetected, or on a flank and the enemy is not aiming at you. You know this because you can see them looking somewhere else. You now have time to line up a cleaner shot, Congratulations, I hope you hit. When holding an angle, it's also acceptable to aim down sights continually as you're waiting for an enemy to move into an area that you're already aiming at. Just be ready to move your head immediately if you miss your shot. For a bit more nuance, take note of the weapon that the enemy is using. If they shoot with a slow firing weapon, you're going to have about half a second when it is safe to be still before they can shoot again or quick swap reliably. Use this time to line up a better shot. A fast firing weapon like a Winfield with iron repeater can also be used continually by aiming down sights as long as you keep the pressure up. The combination of aim punch and the fact that you can see if the enemy starts to aim you up compensates for the lack of head movement provided they don't have a teammate who also has line of sight to you in which case you need to be moving that head as much as you can. This defensive head movement is also my default stance outside of combat. When running across the map, I tend to look in an arc in front of me while moving forward, swinging my head occasionally and throwing in some random strafe movements. Not enough to slow me down significantly, but enough that an ambushing team might have trouble securing that initial headshot. The takeaway in general is that you should always be moving your head, and this is most important just before and just after shooting, because it's these moments when people tend to be the most vulnerable. However, there are times where it is safe to justify taking more time to aim and thus improving the accuracy of your shot. The final element of the three that you might be missing is good positioning, specifically where you are in relation to your team, elevation, and the places that you choose to peek from. Peeking an angle that is being held by an enemy is very dangerous, but you can reduce your chance of peeking an angle where someone is looking by not peeking the same spot twice and by rotating between several peak spots. Remember that doing so at close range means that they're probably going to hear your footsteps and have a pretty good idea of where you're going to pop out. Attacking when your enemy is shooting a teammate from a different position is ideal because then you know that they're not holding your angle and you're free to take a shot. I've spoken at length about positioning in other videos, but the key points are to stay close enough to your team that you have overlapping fields of fire but spread out enough that you don't disrupt each other's ability to hear the enemy footsteps and open yourselves up to being flanked. Your position should also be fluid, as remaining in the same area for too long is passive play, and that gives the enemy initiative to move, flank, and find angles, and improve their position relative to you. Now of course, like everything in Hunt, when I give advice, there's always exceptions and cases where things don't apply, you can hold a boss lair and defend it and trap it up. That's perfectly fine playstyle. I'm talking about just general gunfight positioning, general gunfight aiming. We're ignoring ambushes and baiting and all these specific tactics for this video. In a straight up gunfight, these are the three things that catch people out the most. If you are in a rut, if you keep getting headshot, try and isolate which one of these three items you struggle with the most, focus on it, be intentional and work to improve. Hunt is a game where almost every death can be attributed to mistakes that you made at some point beforehand. There are instances of random bullshit where a stray bullet takes you out, but this is rare and you can generally learn something from every match. One idea that's been floated by a few viewers recently is to have me look at some footage of you guys playing and then add some commentary and critique. It could be fun to get the community more involved, so if you do have a clip that you'd like me to analyse on video, why not post it in our Discord and I'll have a look. That's all linked in the description below. As I said, 
even though I know these things, I'm still practicing on implementing them myself sometimes, and so it does take time. Thank you very much for watching, and a massive thank you to our Patreon supporters as well. I'll catch you next time, this is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming.